Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking the Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content today, we're about to be doing some bass fishing, but we're actually fishing with the smallest baits that we bought from Walmart a second ago. So let's go ahead and walk over here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got. If you guys wanna check out any of the Big Bass Energy merch or the new Kickin' Their Bass rods, they're only available on kickintheirbass.com. You can check them out. Link will be down below. We got spinning rods, right hand bait casters, left hand bait casters, and plenty of merch on the website. I appreciate the support in advance for everybody that goes on the website and supports your boy. I really appreciate it. So we did stop by Walmart earlier and we ended up getting a few different baits. These are like the smallest bass lures that they had there. And uh, we're gonna go out to this pond that we have behind us and just see if we can catch them today. You know, we had a massive cold front blow in a couple days ago. It's starting to warm up now. And I'm hoping that these fish are gonna be biting. And we're gonna go out here in this pond and just see what we can put together today. And more importantly, hopefully catch some big bass on these small lures. So let's go ahead and show you guys exactly what we bought. The first bait, is this Mini King Spinner Bait by Strike King. And uh, if you guys wanna get a discount on any of the Strike King lures, I have my discount code and link down below. The discount code didn't work for like the last couple months, I didn't even know. So now it works, it's down below. But yeah, that's the first bait, just a mini spinner bait. The second bait is this mini rattle trap right here. Very small, this is an eighth ounce rattle trap right there. Third bait is a small Rebel jerk bait, or I'm not really sure if this is a jerk bait or a crank bait. Obviously looks like a jerk bait, but I think you would reel it more like a crank bait. It's got a little bit of chrome on the body. I'm with a black back. I think that thing ended up getting munched today. All right, and the last bait that we got, we needed a soft plastic. And the weird thing is we couldn't really find any small soft plastics, but we did find this ready for action worm by Cream Lures and it's already set up it's like a little pre-rig it's already got a hook in it and everything and it's a pretty dang small worm you know so that's gonna work this is the one soft plastic that we got you know we ended up getting that rattle trap the spinner bait and then also that jerk bait so it's good to add like a little soft plastic a little slow moving bait to the mix today especially since the weather has been iffy and these fish are probably a little finicky so hopefully we'll be able to catch them on this and you know i have it, have them all paired up on this kicking their bass spinning rod so that we can get a good cast with it because at the end of the day these lures are so light I, I believe we could throw them on a bait caster, but it would be really hard. And that's why we're using the spinning rod today. So yeah, we're gonna hop right into it. Got my man Adub behind the camera. You guys can check out Adub's channel. Link will be down below. He's gonna be fishing with, with us today during the video. So you'll have like my perspective and his perspective at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and rig up a little leader on the spinning combo, tie on our first bait, get out to the pond and catch some fish. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, y'all, we're about to tie on. Got Mr. Adub. So what's good, dude? I don't know what happened to this guy. I haven't seen him in a while, but look at this man's hair. Like uh, he walked in my house yesterday. I was like, like bro, cave man. Like what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you, dude? But yeah, man, we're about to tie on. So Adam, what do you want to throw? Do you have like a preference? Honestly, I kind of like all of them, honestly, but I think I, I know what you're about to pick out. I don't know. I like the spinner bait. Yeah. I like the trap too, but all right, I'll throw the trap. You throw the spinner bait. All right. I know deal. you like kind of picked out the spinner bait. So yeah. We'll start Adam off with uh, this little spinner bait right here striking. That thing's pretty fire. I like, think it's gonna smoke him. It's not really like spinner bait conditions today, but it's like, they should, they should still bite it. So. Yeah. so he'll throw that and then I'll start off with this lipless right here. And then we'll end up moving over to these baits. We'll probably go catch a few on those and then we'll end up tying these on as well. So yeah, that's the game plan. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up on my spinning combo. He has his down there. And uh, we'll see what we can do today, guys. Hopefully we'll end up catching a lot of fish. I really want to catch a big one on this too and we're gonna run our drag really loose so even if the fish are a pound and a half at them they're gonna they're act gonna like yeah we're gonna feel like it's a seven eight pounder these aren't really my i guess these are kind of no these aren't really micro lures but we filmed a lot of micro lure videos and you guys kind of enjoyed them not only that but i just enjoyed filming them like it was a lot of fun for me but yeah we're just using these small bass lures today switch it up a little bit what you doing over there dude I dropped my trash i'm gonna pick it up save the earth there we go, guys. We got my trap on, kicking combo. A Dub's got his baby spinner bait on. Baby. All right, dude. We're about to have some fun. I just hope they're gonna fight good, and I hope we end up catching a big one because I think we'll have an opportunity today. There's there are some really big fish in here. My buddy's caught a ten pounder in here. I actually know two people have caught a ten pounder in here. All right, y'all. We just got out to the pond. Water is ultra clear. Very shallow, Adam. Very shallow. But, but yeah, Adam's gonna start off with that. He's gonna have his GoPro on, so we'll have his angle. 
like I said, if you want to check out his channel too, I'll link them down below. But yeah, let's see if we can get it started, guys, and see what we can do. Hopefully, uh, catch some big ones. So I thought I had grass on this trap the whole time, but in reality, it just barely walk. It barely uh, barely goes. My braid's a little messed up. I gotta put a new line on this. Yeah, this thing barely vibrates. Like barely, yeah. There's also some rocks out here, guys, and I don't know if y'all know, but when it gets cold outside, fish tend to sit up on like boat ramps or rocks or anything like that because it tends to heat up. So when the water temps drop, when it gets super cold outside, the bass will tend to, to move to some rock. If you have any rock in a pond or even like a little boat ramp or any concrete, you know, that heats up the quickest with the sun being out. So I did want to start off on this pond and start off on this side because I was like, you know, there's a lot of rock over here and there could be some good fish sitting on this. Look at that. You guys hear the difference between the braid and the fluoro? That's crazy. Braid is so loud. Especially this braid. It's just old braid. I need to put some new, new line on. You see where all the birds are, Adam? They're in that pocket. I think we might need to go down there. I will say sometimes this corner is hit or miss. Yeah, here we go, guys. I don't know. Yep. Oh, came off. Yeah, they're in there, Adam. First cast down the middle. Yeah, I got slammed. I, I missed them. I'm gonna kind of jig it, kind of rip it off the bottom. Yep. Oh, God, he hit me again. Right here down this grass line. There should be one over here. Did you? Did he hit you? I'm telling you, they're in the middle right there. They're stacked. It ain't just one fish. There's a lot. Just gotta figure out how to get them to bite. <laughs> you think they're just hitting the blade? I don't know what they're hitting. It's like that one, I literally let it slack line just to make sure it was a fish. And it's sitting there just pulling on that line. Might be right out here, too. They, they sometimes stack up towards the mouth. still hitting you yeah it's really starting to make me mad they're either hitting the blade or they're so so small you would think that i'd be able to hook one though well might need to go to the other side i'm telling you it can be like that sometimes out here they move around a lot or they're just finicky dude and they're just acting weird they got to be hitting the blade that's the only thing i could think of Got that one. Oh, that's a good one, Noah. No, that was like a four pounder, bro. Dude, look at the boil. Oh, dude, that was a good one. Dude, that's that, that's upsetting, bro. Oh my God. If it was a small one, it's like whatever, but like that's. Oh, definitely. Plus, I mean, you're throwing it on a spinning rod with your drag loose. Adam just hooked one and it was a freaking tank. Gosh, that sucks. All right, we got to keep high hopes though. We'll, maybe we'll catch a 10 on, on a micro lure today, guys. Maybe the big ones are actually biting. We just got to, we got to hunker down. We're not, we might not give them any bites, but gosh, that sucks. I love how you're just talking about it. Like, oh, they're small. <laughs> yeah, let's walk, let's walk down here. See where that bird's at. We're going to go a little past him. So y'all, we got, it's a big flat. We just walked past this whole flat, but at the end of the sandbar, it has a slight drop off. Right here is the break. So it's like a little lane right here heading back into this pocket. There should be some fish stacked up about where he just threw. So let's see if we can get some going. We just went to this other side. Just gotta figure out where they are. It is a little tough today, but I, I, we're gonna we're gonna put it to work. We'll, we'll end up getting on them. So this might take a second. They do not like this trap. I don't blame them though. It just looks like I'm reeling in a freaking slice <laughs> of pizza or something. <laughs> I mean, dude, I, I don't even know how else to describe it. It's like it has no movement. I literally think a slice of pizza would have more action than this thing. Like, well, y'all, I don't know about this thing. I told Adam I, I, I might as well be throwing a dang pizza roll up in here. Like, it just has no action. 
with how these fish are finicky right now i feel like you'd almost need some more rattle some more thump to really get them to trigger off on it it's like i'm in the i'm in the middle zone it's like you either need to throw something really slow like a worm or you need to throw something really aggressive that has some thump and i'm like in this middle zone to where like i said i'm just reeling a pizza roll in like it ain't it ain't nothing but i'm i'm not putting this thing down until i catch one Unless it's just getting to the point to where it's like, it's not going to happen. Yep. Oh my gosh. I got slammed, bro. Yeah, I just can't. I didn't get the hook in them. Might have been a small one. They're cha there's some bait moving right here. I want to say they're chasing bait. I keep seeing a flicker though. Ooh. Oh, come on all you gotta do is eat the hook and not eat the blade that's all you have to do got him that's a good one too oh he's not that good dude he's fighting like crazy though look at him he's going crazy come on we have to land you <laughs> I finally got one to eat it. Dude, this son of a gun was fighting too. Like, wow. Beautiful little winter bass. Let's see if I can walk down here and give him a nice little release. First fish of the day that we've landed. Swim away. Thank you for eating the hook, finally. Now tell your friends to do the same thing. Because y'all are having a problem with that today. I'm gonna cut this joker off, bro. I can't sit here and throw a pizza roll in the water, <laughs> water any longer, dude. I'm done throwing a Totino's pizza roll. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm I, I'm mad convinced that if I did put a pizza roll in it, it would have better action than it. Yeah, you might have caught one by now, honestly. Dude, I mean, I love pizza rolls. I mean, oh, yeah. no. It's wet, don't put your knee on the <laughs> How'd you miss? I think it's that rod, bro. You it's think? yeah, dude. Your rod literally bent over. You, it would be better on my rod. Well, throw this then. So do I reel this thing at him? Here, look, 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 dude. Let's do this. Look, you throw the spinner, and I'm gonna throw the worm. We'll trade rod. Like, After here, you, I'll, you I'll wait till I tie this on I to know, say this. But you're the one who said it's my rod. So look. Wait, hold on. Let me try this or... one cast. I don't even know if I can. Dude, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh. the action on that sucker, dude. Yo. Oh, dude. dude that's what I'm wait. telling you. This thing is sick. This thing's crazy. All right. It's going to get smoked. I'm sorry I insulted it as a corn dog. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> dude, that is the lightest bait I've ever put on my rod. Can I really? It was a top one. Oh. I think we're on to something. Like, I'm going to start tournament fishing <laughs> again with this thing. I, I'm really curious to know. Did it break you off? No. Dude, that sucks. Like, actually. Dude, that sucks. Because it was next to a rock when it bit it. Well, the rattle trap is gone. It, it, it's just in your bag, but it's gone, dude. We're not tying that thing back uh, on. The spinner bait broke off. I just put on this magic wiggler right here. I don't know what in the world this thing is. How did he break you off? That magic wiggler is legit. Let me show what this little thing looks like, man. That's what you want to do. What in the world? fixed it all right dude i'm going on a hike honestly i can't really tell but i think i'm gonna fish it like a jerk bait this is definitely a crank bait i can definitely tell it's a crank bait <gasps> oh oh adam oh dude two one of them was like three and a half pounds bro i saw them right yeah bro hold on they went crazy on the wiggler dude like that was insane there was two fish one of them wasn't that big and one of them was like three three and a half pounds bro all right guys we just came back to where these fish were stacked up the fish are just in the deepest spots making it difficult <gasps> oh gosh <sighs> it was a good one adam it was a good one he doesn't want to eat it bro i don't know why golly he did the same thing. He he he, he dove over it like a shark, dude. How good was it? Like a two pounder. Dang. 
Like they're like they're not bad fish. That's what's that's why I'm like, gosh, this is annoying. There's definitely more down there with them though. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, this is where I had the four. I got one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I got one on that. I mean, that's pretty cool. This guy choked it too. Like, he's got it in there. So I caught one on this little jerkbait, crankbait minnow thing. Then I caught one on the spinnerbait. So we've knocked out two of the baits. Noah's had some hit on that small rattle trap and on the worm. They just haven't committed. It's been really difficult though. These fish are like super lethargic. All right, dude, go the other way. Okay, there you go. He finally figured it out. You want to go to another pond? Well, guys, I think we're going to head to a new pond. This, <laughs> this place is just not it. You know, Adam caught two fish here. He missed a good one. I missed a good one. I had a bunch of fish roll on this, but they just won't commit. You know, I, I talked about it at the beginning, too. It's just the conditions today. This is our first warm day after a huge cold front. Usually the first day is not the best. You know, it takes a few days for the weather to get consistent. Therefore, the fish will start biting. So I think... I don't even think tomorrow would be that good. I think the next day I'll start being better. But even with ponds, like these ponds get more affected than these lakes and the rivers and stuff like that just because they're smaller bodies of water. It happens, man. But we're going to hit another pond and see if we can uh, catch one on this. If I could actually cast this thing out too, I think I would have already caught a lot of fish. But this is the widest bait I've ever caught. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna get started and see if we can catch some in this new pond. I'm hoping that we can make it happen. This water is so weird in here. It's not clear like the other one. It's like almost like it has chemicals in it. I think we might be able to get it done in here, guys. I think, I think we'll have some good luck. The other pond, it was just tough, but these fish are finicky today. So let's just hope that we can get a few on the bank. I got one. Yep. No, nah, it's a small one. Yeah. Dude, he is so energetic. It's like the most energetic fish I've ever seen. He just barely hooked. I had him like hooked on top of the head, kind of. Thanks, pal. Honestly, dude, I think this is a crankbait. I've been fishing it like a crankbait. Oh, I just got bit again. Yeah, right here. That was a pretty good bite. Dude, again, Noah. What? Yes. There he is. <laughs> you see how small it is? <laughs> Dude, I caught me a minnow on a minnow. Look at that. Giant, baby, giant. I'll go ahead and put him back. See ya, dude. That's so cool, though. I mean, at least I'm getting a couple of fish to bite it. I've been getting a ton of bites right here, like just slowly reeling this thing. It doesn't even say on the package if this is a crankbait or a jerkbait. It looks like a jerkbait, but it works better as a crankbait. Got another one. Dude, Noah has no idea. That's like fish number four or five for me, I think. I think it's five. That's two in the other pond and three here. I'm gonna leave that spot alone though. We're gonna get Noah to come down there with that worm, see what he can do. Man, they are smoking this little thing though. I wonder if they're like that all over, if it's just that one little corner, I don't really know. There's one. Dude, so many are biting this thing. They just have to like this bait better than that worm. Cause I've caught four in here and Noah hasn't even had a bite on that worm. It's just like something about this bait. They just like it in here. Finally got them unhooked. Those little hooks are hard to get undone with your hands. They're just so small. Little pliers, loose pliers right here coming in clutch. All right, y'all, I'm retiring that worm. I don't know what it is, but I just cannot get a dang bite on it. I had some boil on it in the other pond. But I am done with that worm. So I'm gonna tie on this little jerk bait. Adam already caught a few on this. Um, I'm gonna tie this bad boy on get the casting around see if we can get a few on it I might go to the there's another pond next to this one that I might end up hitting so I'll try that out as well But yeah, this little jerk bait that he was throwing 
I think is really good as well because of the chrome right here in the in the light today. You know, we got a lot of sun out. That little worm was killing me. That worm in the trap. Everything I've thrown today has just been a mess. I feel like the jerk bait and the spinner bait have definitely been the killers today. I was gonna say I think the spinner bait would be the best, but then again, he had a lot of bites on this pretty quick. So I guess we're gonna see. Let's see if we can get one on this. There he is. First fish of the day, baby. Here we go. All right, we're gonna get started, guys. We're gonna start catching them. I just needed something to give me a little bit of confidence because those two baits I threw earlier, guys, was just not it. Oh my gosh, this bass is so cold. Wow. Pretty little fish, though. Nothing big. He ate that little jerk bait. Little tiny micro jerk bait. Pretty little fish, nothing big, but we got to start somewhere. That's my first fish I've landed today. I've had a lot of just fish twirl on my bait and just crazy stuff, but that is my first fish of the day. Let's see if we can get another one. I think we're gonna start catching them really good. This jerk bait, I think, is it. Hey, fella. We're fishing out here. All right. Yep. How's your day going? Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. Well, guys, I think we're going to close off today's video. We just got kicked out, and usually, you know, this place is closed on these days, and I've talked to many of people, and they don't care, you know, if you fish it, but that guy, he was a little rude, man. <laughs> and, like, I'm just chilling, and, like, dude, I hate when people do that, like, over fishing, man. And we were just minding our own business, like, sitting on the ground. We weren't loud at all. I was just trying to catch a dang fish. I threw two of the worst lures of my <laughs> life today. I just wanted to catch a dang fish, and I did end up catching one. Adam caught a lot on that spinner bait and the jerk bait. So those were definitely the two. Yeah, those were the two they liked today for sure. The two really good baits. I do not know about that worm. I, and the trap just never vibrated. So they did not want to bite that. It looked like a It was just pizza a roll. pizza roll, man. That's what I'm saying. But anyways, I still had fun in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad we had A-Dub around to throw those other lures because I just got my butt kicked today by the fish. I, I don't know what happened, but the, I, I want to say it was the lures, okay? I'm not trying to pull excuses, but them <laughs> lures really did suck. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. We're gonna have a lot of content coming out this week. So if you could drop a comment down below, let us know what content you would like to see next. I appreciate the love and support and I'll catch you all in the next video.